Hi there, this is Luther FM, and this is episode six of the Everton Save. Thank you to everyone that's subscribed recently and watched the videos so far. The Everton series is it's got a decent turnout so far, but obviously I always appreciate more views, more subs uh, more people subscribing and following, and I'm hoping that the content that I'm producing is decent enough for you to enjoy. So where you left us last, we were we've undefeated so far. Obviously, friendlies don't really count, but basically we beat Watford 2-0. Um, goals from Holgate and Lovumbo. And then we beat QPR 7-0 in the Carabao Cup. Uh, Cam uh, McCallum, Garner, Campbell, McCallum again, Gamble again, Lado and Chukwuenka. It was a great performance by us. And then we beat... West Brom 4-1, up until the last couple of minutes, they didn't even have a shot on target. So we've not only did we play well as an attacking force, we played well as a defensive force as well. So Campbell got two goals, Elliot Anderson, and an own goal. And then we, the last game that you left us on was a 1-0 win versus Blackpool with Josh Majar coming on in the fourth minute for Campbell, who got injured. Scoring thanks to McCallum assist. We are currently third in the league, neck and neck with four teams. As you know, the championship is a very difficult league to play in. And we're doing very well. And I'll um, I'll be back in a minute with the first game of the episode. Uh, welcome back. Now, we just just uh, before we play the next game, just letting you know about the latest transfers. We've signed this well, the D uh, the director of football signed former Man City youngster Ty Soji. He'll probably do well in the youth team and reserves. We'll send him out on loan uh, from the end uh, from January, and then we've signed this man here, Anthony Martial. Now. I'm a bit conflicted. As a Man United supporter, he frustrates me at times because he he could be so he, he had such high basically he was like when we signed him, he was such a high regarded uh, wonder kid prospect, basically. And I thought he's gonna be really good for us. And he's had don't get me wrong, he's had his moments at Man United, but I mean he hasn't really scored he's only scored we had one season where he scored seventeen. Goals, but basically, and he got in, in on the game on here. He scored fourteen goals last season. So, if we get that Marshall, we're going to be very happy. Now, if we have a look at his medical report. I think doesn't seem he's had. So, in two thousand twenty-three, he had three injuries, keeping him out for two months, five weeks, and two weeks. So. He seems to get hamstring strains quite a bit. So we're taking a risk signing him. He's not cheap either. He was a free transfer. He's on a wage of 72 grand, which I think might make him have a look on this. It does make him a highest earner. So he could either go one way or another. But we'll we'll have to wait and see really. But, you know, he starts with this game here. 
Is his best role attacking? Yeah, it is. They never know. We might, we, it might be an absolute bargain of the season. I mean, he's valued at just up to 42 million. So if he plays okay and we get a decent offer for him, we'll sell him and we'll make money. Um, but yeah, Patterson in goal, back in goal. And then we've got a, a familiar back three and a familiar wing back partnership. This is probably going to be the midfield partnership if Garner's not playing, I suppose. And then the wingers are the same. And then we've got Marshall making his debut, who will probably end up competing with Campbell and Majar for the striker role up front. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. And he's not 100% match fit, Marshall, so we probably won't play the whole game, but that is expected. As he probably hasn't been training if he's, not, if he's been out of contract for a while. Hopefully he can, he can start here strong. I mean, with the Dosi and players like Anderson supplying him with McCallum as well, he should be able to do quite well, really. But we'll see. First highlight goes to Huddersfield. We're nicely passing it out. Woodrow, very good striker for the championship level. Oh, that's not good. We've given them a penalty after 16 minutes played. Rudrow, who is probably going to score this, is he's a decent finisher, but we'll see. Patterson might become the hero. No, he doesn't. Oh, well. Right. Uh, we'll demand a bit more from the players. Hopefully that'll help. Oh, they've got another highlight. We might get humbled here. Oh, Marshall now. What's he going to do? Drives it forward. Going to pass it to what he does. He passes it to McCallum. McCallum chips it over to Anderson. Anderson now passes it nicely to Marshall. Marshall with a shot. It's saved by the goalkeeper, but Ethan Laid with the rebound. A rare goal for Laid. Let's see what else we can do. Hopefully. We can keep on the winning run that we're on. Dosi now. Two, two runs heavy. The Vermo. Out to Adosi. Adosi now. What's he going to do with this? He shoots. Bit of a waste there. Yeah, could have done better with that. A bit greedy by Adosi, to be honest. Let's see what we can do in this second half. Hopefully, we need to give Fortius and Alan encouragement. Hopefully, that will and, uh, two and Zevi as well. Anybody else? Martial. Let's see if encouragement helps. If it doesn't, we're going to give them a telling off. McCallany is injured. Not injured, um, knackered, sorry. But Garner. Um, Carrillo. Go. Marshall now. Passes it out wide to Laird. Laird, can you become assist to. He does, Marshall. Scores on his debut. Would this be the sign in of the season? Marshall. A dosi needs to come off now. Dosio put on Redoni, Jack Redoni, advanced playmaker support, getting used to these players and what their best roles are, so it's a bit easier to do it. Laird now, Godfrey, Sagana. Tyler out to McCallum. Can he redeem himself? Oh, we need he did. Marshall nearly scored again. Ah, oh, typical. Marshall injured. Potential lower leg injury. Oh, probably hamstrings again. Iris Campbell will come on. 
Oh well, he got one goal in one game. If he ends up being injured for the rest of the season, at least at least he has a decent scoring record. The shame he's on such a high wage. We should have done um should have knocked his weekly wage down and, and did like an appearance bonus or something, so it encourages him not to get injured so much. But yeah, we're still winning though. Winning two one, so that's all that matters in this game at the moment. We'll see what happens with Marshall after this. Uh, 2 2. All right, let's demand a bit more. I feel like we can win this. Can't make any more subs, so we're kind of just stuck with what we've got now. We've just got to hope for the best. And McCallum and uh, Campbell link up well, like they've done before. We're running out of time. We got one more highlight? No, we probably haven't. Ah, it's a shame. Better than losing though. At least we didn't lose. Right, so we're back and we've got Preston now in the next game. Starting lineup seems pretty much the same, but soon oh okay, so we've got Mika Marmel, who will make his debut. He is a ball playing centre defender. We'll swap him because Godfrey's um, Holgate is a wide centre back. And so is. I don't know, hold on. Yeah, and so is Godfrey. So we'll. we'll can he play central defender? I mean, he can, but. Actually, yeah, he can play central defender. We'll just leave us that. We'll swap them around. Um, Norton Cuffey and McCallum as the wing backs. Garner is more of a Carrillo, so we'll swap these. Uh, and then obviously uh, El Nini, Lavermo, Adosi, and Campbell back in the team because Marshall is now injured. Uh, let's see how we get on. Hopefully, we can win this game and. We drew 2 2 in the last game. We need to keep up with the other teams here. We're playing Preston, who are having a very good season this season as well. Neck and neck with us on points. The goalkeeper is slightly injured. I don't know whether that was before the game or during the match, but maybe we can exploit that in some way. Nice little passing with our players. We're uh, playing with a higher line. The Bumbo. Still key little player. Lovely little ball to McCallum. McCallum lost it, lost it forward. Oh, look at that. Our wing backs contributing with each other. And then the Lumbo. It's this there. Nice start to the game. That's what we like to see. Right, first half, other than that goal. That might soon change now. McCallum. Adosi, I think. Yeah, Adosi lost it forward. Campbell. Was that the Bumbo? Might have been the Bumbo, actually. Oh, McCallum's injured. Need to take him off, I think. He'll be a big loss to us if he's out for a long period of time. I like to press them now. They might equalize before the first half finishes. Hopefully they won't for our sake. Can Led sort this out? No, he can't. Saved by our goalkeeper and good little defensive play by Elanini. Campbell bombs forward now, uses his pace and acceleration to get past the defense. Passes it into Garn with a great shot. We give ourselves a nice 2 0 comfortable lead and come into the end of the first half. The Lumbo and Adosi are fairly knackered, so we'll probably take them off in the in a bit. Laird now with the throw in. Garner, back to Laird. 
there, passes it to Garner. Garner puts it across to Norton Cuffey. Norton Cuffey, can he score another one? No, he doesn't. He got a bit too cocky after that first goal, I think. Right, so we've got... Um, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Right, so we need to make some substitutions. Josie will come off for Edo, and then Lavano will come off for Campbell. Campbell is uh, an advanced forward. What's his best role on the wing? Inside forward, so that's what we'll do. Inside forward support. And then Edo is a wing attack. That's, yeah, that's the same, so that's fine. Preston with the ball now. Atlanta with a nice little pass to McCann. Ooh, they should have done better with that. They'll be annoyed by that. They've uh, got themselves back in a chance, back with a chance of uh, getting back in the game there. We've made all our subs now, so we've just got to. Carry on, and then we'll probably rest a few players for the next match because they're starting to get a bit tired now playing all these games. Oh, oh, here we go, Led. Oh. Maybe he should have hit that first time. Didn't so it didn't give the goalkeeper a chance to or the defender a chance to clear that. Starting now with the corner. It'll probably go straight into the goalkeeper's hands. No, it doesn't. That makes a nice change. The afro and all theirs. Oh, doesn't matter. Right, not long left now in the game. Hopefully that'll stay 2 0. Yeah, it does. Excellent. That's good to see. A little result for us. So we're now second, with two points behind Sheffield United. Sheffield United, I don't think they've lost a game yet. No, they haven't. Five games, 15. Oh, Birmingham as well. So yeah, they haven't lost yet. We haven't lost, but we drew. So that kind of reason why we're just third now. Um, we'll be back in a minute for the next game. Right, so we're back now with our next game, which is a Carabao Cup game, second round against Burton Albion. We're going to rotate this team a fair bit. We're going to do full rotation. Hasn't really done that much. Uh, we try you. Let's try. Let's see if we. Hasn't done much either, but we've 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 replaced them there. We've we've not rotated that much, which is annoying. Um, Knight's playing though. Traore is playing. Dolan's playing. So they're not and Timon as well. So yeah, we'll be right that. So Basuno in goal. We've got Godfrey Holgate and Malmo there. Swap them to about, and then Laird and Timon. Time and a wing back. He's a complete wing back, so we'll change that. Uh, Laird, uh, yeah, Laird's a wing back. He's a tap though. Yeah, that's fine. Knight, what's Knight's best position? Ball winning support. So just need to change that to support. Garner in his usual role. Dolan is a winger support, which is fine. We need to slightly change that to support. Traore is an advanced forward with what's his best role on the wing. Inside forward support. Do that. There we go. And then Campbell in his, his usual role. Uh, let's see what we can do. Burton Albion, um, a team I've managed before when I did a really enjoyable save a couple of fms ago and i basically didn't didn't sign anybody for money and i just only signed free transfers um release from from empty clubs and stuff and i concentrated on using the great facilities they have because they use the same facilities the England national team use so all i had to do was essentially just to keep improving coaching and, and youth recruitment and i started producing some really good youth regens and that's what i basically did was play them I got up to the Premiership after about three or four years from simply just signing free transfers, 
uh, youth players from released from Premier League teams and stuff like that. So it was quite it was really enjoyable save. Garner with a great goal there. He he uh, he knows how to shoot, doesn't he, Garner? I was good when he left Man United, if I was honest, because I thought he was a really good. He's a really good passer and a re and he's got a really good long shot on him. And I I was hoping he'd get some first team football at Man United, but uh, whoever if it was Marina in the charge, maybe Marina in charge at the time. I think they just didn't rate him, or was it? I know it might have been Eric Ten Hag. I think when he come along, I think he sold. Decided to sell him to Everton. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, 1 0 up. In a quick game, this size, I can't believe it's second half already. They are going to equalise. That is annoying. We need to demand more. Prayor has not been playing well, so we're going to take him off. And we're going to give O'Hare his first game for us. O'Hare is a winger support. Change that. There we go. See what he can do for us. Hopefully, he can contribute. Dolan and Campbell aren't playing particularly well either. We'll give them a little bit more time. Maybe they can rectify that. We'll off pretty nearly there with the goal. Right, let's take Campbell off. But give Carlin Grant his first game for us. Take Dolan off. We'll put uh put Cat we'll put Conway on, we'll leave Marshall for now. We'll just leave him in the roles that the previous player had. See what we can do with that. We have possession, we lose it. That's annoying. We get the possession back and we get it out we get it back to us and we eventually score. That was Mason Bennett, former FM Wonder Kid and Derby County uh, player. There's Garner's nephew, so we'll take him off. The corner. Knight. Ooh. Nearly scored a worldie there. Um, we, we don't really want this to go to extra time because a lot of our players will get tired. We don't want to start getting loads of injuries because even though we've got a fairly big squad, the quality, the quality goes down after a while, so it might affect the, the form that we're in, but hopefully we'll be all right. Hold okay, it now. That's it for to do uh, a duckery. Dukeri, whatever his name is. Dukeri, you could say it about three or four different ways. Uh, so we're going to penalties. Okay, that's fine. At least we ain't got play extra time. Forgot about that. How now? Come on, Basuno. Be the hero. Save the save the penalty. Good save. That's what I want to see. All right, Grant lines up now for the penalty. And he become an instant hero at Goodison Park with the, with the first penalty. Oh, look at that for a cheeky little goal. Right, Basuno, can you do another another heroics here? Can you stop Stockton? No, you can't. Drive the wrong way. Still okay. We score this one. We're still in a comfortable lead here. Tommy Conway, the Scotsman, lines up for the penalty. Scores a beautiful blaster of a penalty there. He was just he went straight for power with that one. Right, Mason Bennett lines up now. Come on, De Pasuno. Ah, he went the right way, but he just didn't die long enough. All right, O'Hare. Let's, uh, let's keep this scoring going. Let's get this penalty scored. Alleviate the pressure off us. Yes, we do. Well, he went the wrong way. Great penalty by O'Hare. Um, Hughes lines up. Ah, died the wrong way, Pasuno. That's unfortunate. We're all right, though. We score this one. We're still on track. Come on, Knight. Don't mess this up now. Yes. We are not missing any of these penalties today, I don't think. Right. Pasuno. 
We save the first one. Let's see if you can save this one. Pressure's on them. Moon. Let's hope that Moon skies the penalty to the Moon and back. With a bunch. Anyway, that was terrible. Right. Moon lines up. Oh. Right. If we score this one, we win. So who's taking it now? Okay. Who's lining up for it? Taking our time here. Right. Okay. So it's Ducari. Ducori. Or Ducari. However you want to pronounce it. Yes. Get in. The players go crazy for a penalty shootout win over Burton Albion in the Carabao Cup second round. There we go. Um, okay. So we'll, we'll be back in a minute with the next game. So we're back now. And we've got um, Sunderland away. Now, Sunderland in this, game, in this save at the moment are currently bottom of the championship. That doesn't necessarily mean we're going to win. Um, they, might, they might want it more than us. But, yeah, let's just... The lineup is pretty much the same as usual. The main, main lineup here. We just need to swap. We need to change Anderson's role. Um, do we need to change? We need to change. He's back to... Back. Oh. Is he attacking? Uh, no, he's just defending, but we'll just do automatic for him. Right. Uh, a dosi and a mumbo. A mumbo and winger. Here he is. There's that. That. Marshall in his familiar role. So, there we are. See how we get on against Sunderland. Hopefully, Martial won't get injured in this game. We will soon see. This whole storyline of this of this series is basically can Martial stay fit without getting injured in every game close. See. No highlights so far after 12 minutes. I feel that'll change soon to us. Currently third in the league with 14 points. Norton Cuffey with a throw-in. Lubumbo with a lovely little cross. Yes, Samuel Ladosi, get in. Scores his first ever goal for Everton. That's nice to see. Ladosi now to McCallum. McCallum bombs forward. Uses his right foot to give it to Portius. Portius very far forward in this game. But is expected with our tactics. Lovumbo now with the corner. Oh, back out to Lovumbo. All the players getting a, f uh, a few passes in. That's the end of that. That was a bit disappointing. I thought that was going to lead to something there. Right. Throw into Sunderland and they accidentally give us the ball. Can we get it off him? Yes, we can. Anderson now to a dosi. Passes it forward. Lovumbo should have done better than that. Oh, okay. Come off there, uh, player. I just thought he uh, missed shot. Right, Lovumbo with the corner. Go straight in the goalkeeper's hand. This is what I'm saying. Or maybe it happens in real life, I suppose. I don't know. People in my comment section on, on here, please feel free to let me know if that happens a lot in the FM saves you're playing in. And also, just let me know what, what teams you're managing in FM. And are you doing a youth only save? Are you doing a tycoon save similar to me? Are you doing a fallen giant save or just taking a team that's never won anything and then win them? So just please feel free to contribute. That the equalizer, that's annoying. He's bloody injured as well. How, how are you injured if you're doing that? You can't be that injured if you're doing that. Right. Norton Cuffey. His, uh, his, uh, his girlfriend knocking him out. 
Olivia Atwood or whatever her name is. Lucky, lucky son. But, oh, what a goal by Martial. Yeah, Olivia Atwood played or something like that. Very stunning model. Bradley Dax done well for himself, I'll give him that. All right, 2 1 to us. Martial gets another goal. That's two out of two get for a game for him. Can he get injured again, though? Oops, time will tell. McCallum. Lost the ball then. Martial nearly scores again. Good save by their goalkeeper. They're now in possession. Jack Clark, super Jack Clark, former Leeds United player. Passes it in, but we intercept it. Great defending by us. Put an end to that. Ruben Zembi's not playing very well. I feel like he's going to cost us another goal, so. Um, the whole game. Right? Um, well, Anthony Marshall has lasted the first half. Can he last the second half? He looks like he's in good condition at the moment, so that's good. All right, we now have free kick. Anderson lost it forward. We lose possession. We'll get it back. Godfrey trying to close down Jack Clark. Fails to do so. Right. Elney. Elney, sorry. Passes a lovely little pass to Lavumbo. He taps it in. Martial again. I could see that was going to happen. As soon as Lavumbo had that ball, I knew that was what was going to happen. Two goals for Martial now. Is it tempting to take him off? I mean, it is, but. I want to see if he can get a hat trick. We might be able to resurrect Marshall's career here. Oh, there we go. Adosi now with his second goal of the season. Two for Adosi, two for Marshall. We'll just leave the team as it is. There's not really anybody. Uh, Portius is not particularly playing well, but we pull one up, so I'm not going to hold it against him. Same with Anderson. Just concentrate on players that are uh, injury, uh, injured or knackered, and we'll take them off. But performance-wise, we'll leave it at this moment. Ben Godfrey is a bit tired, so we'll put Malmo on for him. Right. They have a throw. Oh, they have a throw. Any more highlights, maybe? Zito Lumombo, man of the match so far with three assists. El Nini's coming off for James Garner. Yep, 4-1 win. Lovely little win there. Now Stepin, two points behind Birmingham. All right, so we're back now for our game against Middlesbrough. Before I go on about that game, we did holiday through. There we go. We can cash in these transfer clauses early. What we'll do as well. Uh, did do that one, but it didn't work. That's it. Okay, so yeah. So let's just talk about the, so basically we holiday through the last couple of days of the transfer window. Um, we didn't sign anybody and we just loaned out a few players. So no major shocks or anything like that. Um, Marshall got injured for three days. He got, he got a bruised knee, bless him. Um, but he's back. He's fine. So we're fine on that one. He plays another game. Let's see if he doesn't get injured this time. I'm um, just double checking that we're all in the familiar roles that we're playing. He is a Carrillo, so I'll change that. Yep, so that's that. Familiar lineup, that's what we like to see. Middlesbrough away won't be an easy game, but it's a winnable game for us. We definitely need to win. 
Birmingham will probably lose eventually. I don't think they're going to go all season without losing. Uh, oh. Disallowed. Okay. There's no VAR in the, in the championship, is there? So we were quite lucky with that one. Right. Let's try and get an early goal now, because if Middlesbrough are up for this, we're, uh, we're in trouble. Here we go. Partner with the corner. Crosses it in. Ooh. Oh, three there, nearly with the goal. I think I've just seen Will Willian there for Middlesbrough. Good signing for them if they managed to get him on a free transfer. He'd have thought he'd gone to uh, a bigger club than that. Middlesbrough, with their history of signing Brazilians, they signed uh, Janinho and Emerson in the 90s, and then Alfonso Alves as well, who didn't work out as well as the other two. Now William. Say all that and it could be a completely different William. When, uh, Seamus Coleman playing here, for, uh, playing here for Middlesbrough against his former club. Hopefully he got a good reaction from the crowd. Lovumbo drives it across but nearly scores. Their goal kick. Can we intercept this? Yes, we can. Do we lose possession? Yes, we do. Get it back. Come on. Good tackle there by Lovumbo. Lovumbo now races past. Loses the ball there. I feel like the players feel a bit, feel a bit lethargic in this game, Everton. They can't get going. It's quite concerning. They've only played four or five games. You wouldn't have thought they'd be like this already. Wouldn't have said anything to do with the tactic I'm using, maybe. Feel free to leave your feedback about my tactical decisions. That was a good goal by them. I can't, I can't argue with that. We were very unlucky there. Well, not very lucky, unlucky, but you know what I mean. Um, Uh, wait a minute. Uh, see what his role is. That's playmaker. Oh. Right, Lovumbo here with the free kick. Oh, just over by Momo. Any players we need to probably we need to well, maybe. There right, Lovumbo now drives it across, gives it to McCallum, headers it to Radosi, Garner, Chuck and win Winner, whatever his name is, Chuck Wawenka. I apologize there. Like I said, anybody that knows me knows that I butcher people's names. Right, Lovumbo. That was a ambitious shot by him. Right, Adosi's knackered, so we'll put Elliot Anderson on. I'm running out of time here. I'm going to demand more. Hopefully that'll work. Come on, we need to... We only have one shot on target. That's a bit annoying. 14 shots, one on target. We... We've been the better team, really, when you look at it, but just Middlesbrough have just been better with their chances. That's our first loss of the season to a team I thought we should have been beating. Bit of a rubbish way to end this episode on, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to call that a day for this episode. Thank you for joining me on this journey so far. I appreciate all the new subscribers, as always. Feel free to give us a follow. Feel free to watch me on Twitch, 2 o'clock most afternoons in the week. And just search for Lucha FM. And feel free to keep subscribing to me and watching the content. I'm hoping that you're enjoying this. As I said, I will get better at video editing. So the next 
these couple of episodes you're watching now will hopefully be a little bit better. There'll be less dead air time and, and more focus on the matches and stuff like that. So, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day and all the best. Bye.